eyes peer at my burrowing constellation. Yet I know I am still hiding. I am not here. I am present. You're present. Your friend. But when you are gone, who am I? I am distraction. Your distraction. Your gesture for laughs. But when you are gone, who laughs at me? I am comfort. Your comfort. Your shoulder to cry on. But when you are gone, who will comfort me? I am reality. Your reality. Your planet in a solar system. But when you are gone, Do I really matter? I am dance, your dance, your choreographer. But when you are gone, what can I control? I don't need you. I don't need your monologue. Do you even need me? So when I am gone, what will you be? I am present. I am comfort. I am real. I do need you. We still have some time. So until you are gone, would you care to dance? As time flies a fluent fleet of fields, my lonely lingering love for you blooms. But best it'd be best, my emotions within, if a siren or a spell were to soothe the scene. For feelings favored by friendly fiends, lust for lasting likes like lone stars, bartering and buying bright blues so something may save their soul. Why do we want to wish that things so thoughtful as this should shine and shimmer instead of shame? if ignorance and illness is all within it. Where would we be willing to wait for the thorough and thundering, shunning and shivering, introverted and impervious imagination? One that while may not bloom, and may not last, and may not wish, and may not shine. I will never stop waiting for it. I wrote a hymn so I wouldn't think of him.
My favorite artists are dying left and right. But see if I bat an eye. No, but seriously, comedians, musicians, painters, filmmakers, they're all dying. It's like Armageddon. But see if I care. <laughs> I've even stopped caring about what's real and what's in my imagination. I mean, it's not like I don't think you're real. Maybe you are, but like if you aren't, who cares? I've stopped caring about the climate and I can barely breathe in this air. Look, if I could spend my last moments with someone, it would be poker with, actually, I don't think I remember your name. Call me Vaughn. All right, Vaughn. So how versed would you consider yourself in the arts, Vaughn? If you're talking sentimental exhibits with the secret meaning of life, then you're going to be disappointed. All right. What would you consider to be art? Have you ever heard of William Utermolen? Sounds pretentious to me. He was just another boring painter of his time, portraits and whatnot. But then his diagnosis hits, Alzheimer's, a fate worse than death if you ask me. Anyway, he's lost and has no idea what to do, until he realizes this is the chance of a lifetime. He paints himself while his brain slowly continues to deteriorate, the process creating a set of seven self-portraits in a five-year time period. The last painting he made still sits in my head to this day. Jesus. I think that the further he descended, the more he really saw himself for who he was. He saw the intense blur of human cruelty that inhabited him and unleashed it to the world. In his final moment of invulnerability and confusion, he created truth. That, to me, is art. So you think that the less we can see from an artist, the more we can understand him? Precisely. I'm sorry, that just doesn't make any sense. That artist had to be vulnerable to paint themselves in that much humiliation. And if you're not gonna be at least a bit vulnerable, who's gonna care about what you paint? Can art exist if nobody can witness it? I don't think so, but even if it could, what's the point if nobody could remember it? Look, if you're looking for immortality in art, then you're talking to the wrong person. Once you see the death of an artist, you see art for what it is. You'll have to accept that one day. But if you want to make things interesting, then let's make a bet. Whoever wins the round claims artistic superiority. I couldn't say no to someone who brings good conversation. Deal.
Vitae Eternum. <laughs>